Turkish soldiers accused of attempting to overthrow their government are hustled into court as an angry crowd chants, bring back the death penalty. High-ranking officials have been paraded on TV, asked, are you happy that you failed? In all, 7,500 alleged plotters from the military and the judiciary are now detained and 8,000 police officers removed from duty. The Turkish government has released footage of the coup attempt. Here, a rebel tank ploughs through motorway traffic. And here, forces loyal to the government attempt to shoot down a helicopter gunship that's firing at an official building. It's widely expected the president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, will exploit this crisis to tighten his grip on power, an outcome the new foreign secretary cautioned against today. I think it's very important in view of the failed coup that uh, we see restraint and moderation on all sides, and that's what I'll be calling for. Why do events in Turkey matter? Well, it's a vital transit route for global supplies of oil, gas and grain. The European Union's plan to limit migration depends on the deal struck with Turkey to send migrants back there. And its NATO membership makes Turkey a key base for America's nuclear arsenal and for bombers targeting ISIS. The danger is that uh, if Erdogan goes too far in his uh, purge, this might lead to instability in Turkey in the long run because of the grievances that, that this purge will cause internally. And if Turkey is unstable, then of course this does not bode well for stability in Europe. Travellers are advised to avoid public places in the major cities most affected by this weekend's violence. But the Foreign Office reports that resorts where many thousands of British families have holidays booked have been relatively unaffected by Turkey's turmoil. Catherine Jones, 5 News.